Have you ever wished that when you shared your screen in Zoom that your video didn't become really small? People are just focusing on your content and that's great if that's what you want, but sometimes you want them to see your expressions and your face even more than the content. Of course, you can stop sharing your content and then just speak to them with your video, but you have some other options as well. So normally when you share your screen, you'll click on the green share button, select the item you want to share, and I have to move it onto this other screen. And then you have them seeing your content and for them it will be the major part of their screen and your video will probably be about the size of this video that I have on my screen. It won't look like this because the participants have a different view. You can ask them under view options to check view side by side so that your presentation and your video are right next to each other and then there is an adjustment bar in between the two that can allow them to change the size. But that relies on your participants actually doing something, which doesn't always work out so great. Another option is that you can use your backgrounds as your slides. So for example, if I go to choose virtual background, I'll move some things over here. You see that I have various virtual backgrounds that I can choose from. And so if I wanted to share about my book, for example, now I have to move over a little bit here <clears throat> so that you can see it. Now, if you only have a few slides that you want to share, this is probably the easiest way to do it, assuming you can use virtual backgrounds. Now, I have an older computer and I actually have to use a green screen, as you can see behind me, but the green screen does work well for sharing virtual backgrounds. I could share a training tool that I have that I use with some people. So if you have a lot of slides, though, it can be rather tedious to always have to add images and upload your images. So what else can you do? Another thing you can do within Zoom is to, I will close that, is to share with an advanced sharing option. So go to advanced share and PowerPoint as virtual background. So then, I guess I have to click, I haven't really done this very much. Click on share and see what happens. So I have to find what I want to share and it is in my desktop. It should be this presentation, oops, where is this? This presentation, open that. It's preparing the PowerPoint and the longer a presentation you have, the longer it will take to prepare the PowerPoint. But now you can see that I am in the bottom and I can actually adjust the size of this. Now these slides are not ideal. You'd probably have to design your slides a little bit differently. But then if I want to go to the next slide, let's see if I, there, we'll just click on here. So this does look a little stupid. Maybe I could, at any point, I could move myself over a bit and resize myself. I don't like, okay, so this keeps you in the middle. So that's one way to do it if you want to share like this. There are a couple of challenges that I'm aware of. One is that unless everyone has the upgraded version of Zoom, they won't see it like this. They'll see it the, the old way of having shared content on one side and video either on top or to the side. Also, if you're making a recording, I don't believe that recordings will show this view. It will still show the, the older view with video content on one side and the small video 
in the upper corner. There is another way. I say it's a little trickier, especially if you're not used to it. So I'm going to stop this share. Oops, did not mean to do that. I meant to stop share. There is Prezi Video. Now, I just got Prezi Video free trial like half an hour ago. So I really don't know what I'm doing here, but we will try. I did create a test presentation of three slides and you'll, you'll see some challenges. So here's my, my test. Not only do you have to, you have to download Prezi Video to your computer and you have to connect it with Zoom so they will talk to each other. And I created a very short presentation of just three slides, which is taking a little while to open. Okay, this took a while to open. And as you can see, I'm going to move this out of the way. It says that my camera is unavailable, probably because I'm already in a Zoom meeting. And, huh, it is not showing it as one of the options. And it is supposed to. So let me try video conference. Choose an app. Choose Zoom. Launch and set video. Prezi video. Oh, okay. So as you can see, the background of my book did not work out very well because it's, it's sort of a blue. But let's see how the other pages work. Okay, this works much better. Now, going back to this, if I were not using a virtual background, so choose virtual background, it would work fine. So if I, if I use no virtual background, you can see even with my green background, no problem. It's just that I have such a boring background, I really like to use virtual backgrounds. So I would have to keep this in mind if I were using a virtual background that I couldn't have things too similar in color to my background. Let's look at the next slide. So that works out okay. And then you have some options here. That's just me. See if I can move this out of the way. Well, maybe I'll make this smaller. Okay. I can have the screen here and I can have it go full size. And there's the next one. Maybe I talk about that a little bit, let that go smaller, and then maybe I just talk a little bit more. So I'm just testing Prezi out. I do know there's a watermark, and for the $5 a month plan, you do not get rid of the watermark, which I think is pretty annoying. And I am going to also show you some of the templates. I'm not thrilled with some of the templates. All right, I have Prezi Video, which I had downloaded to my computer, now open, and I have some choices to create a new video, import PowerPoint, or import from Prezi. Let's just say we wanted to create a new video. And there we go. Okay, well, I'm not too worried about the camera. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just going to end this because I really don't need to be doing a Zoom meeting right now. And that should free up the camera, although I could also select a different camera too, but I'll just free up the camera that way. All right, because normally you would not be using Zoom while you're creating something. So they have some sample content here. And let's say I wanted to create my own content. And let's just try, I don't know if I have a really short PowerPoint. Let's just try uploading a PowerPoint. And Okay, I have a really short one that I was just using to practice different PowerPoint techniques, so we'll try that one. It shouldn't take too long to load. Okay, this is not a great PowerPoint. It's just one where 
different images are on it that I was working with. This is not a long presentation, but it is taking a little longer to import than I thought it would, so I'm going to pause the video while it does that. All right, that took about a minute to upload and convert this PowerPoint, which only has six slides. So let's just pick here. I'll pick that one and that one and that one. So I'll pick those three slides. Import selected. Hopefully that won't take too long. So the first slide, it looks like typically would be me. And it looks like you can move some things around. Like if I wanted well that, yep, it'll let me have that one as the first slide. But I, I think I prefer that way. Okay, so let's see how this works. I can pick a, a template here. I have no idea. So what these, these are, I am just not happy with these templates. So let's see where this would go. Mm, I think they'd have something better. I really don't like that. But, and I wish it were higher. They don't, there was that one I had earlier. But let's try this one. Mm, yeah, it's nice and colorful for what I have going. Again, I have to move over. And I can see how it will look in the different views. Okay. And I want to, I'm just practicing with this. I've never done this, so this is all kind of new to me. So then let's say I've, I've created this and now I want to go to the video conference. I could also record and make this a video, which with a green background, I'm not doing. All right, so I want to have a Zoom meeting, but this will be a good way to check it out. Okay, launch Zoom meetings. So I have to go here and I'll just do a new meeting as a practice. And select Prezi video camera. And let's see, is anything working here? Okay, Prezi, start video. Okay, <laughs> have to start video, that helps. So it kind of does look cool. I gotta admit that it looks cool. So if I'm, I'm done with that, I wanna be able to, okay, so now this is my control panel, which normally I would probably use on my second monitor rather than have this all on one monitor. So I could go just me medium size and then I could have it take up the whole screen. Kind of cool. Again, I hate this watermark up here, but I hope this gives you an idea of why not give it a try if you want something a little more interesting.